That's it's your boy Clouds Pushing Obi. Hopefully, I'm praying right now that my mic is not too loud and that everything and audio levels are fine simply because I'm talking low and I won't be talking loud. Um, if there's background noise, please forgive it. Dishwasher is running. But um, it's currently almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I was streaming. It's late. But I'm not that tired. I kind of still want to watch stuff. So we're going to hop into some videos. Um, we're going to be today. Uh, right now we're going to be watching AMP Secret Santa, obviously. It's kind of a long video. I don't know. This might be a one and done kind of situation, you know. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I've been addicted to Agent streams lately, bro. Like, he's the only stream I really be watching. I used to watch Kyle all the time, and now I'm, like, stuck on Agent, bro. His RP is so far. Of course, they got food. I thought that was a play on him being short, bro. He was just on his knees. Pause. Hey, yo. Dude, then it's not there. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. Bro, I don't understand how big people always got a crack showing. Like, always, bro. How is that possible, dude? Oh Did he say Santa bag? Nigga, that is a hat. Why I feel like he's gonna get Davis. I feel like Agent's getting Davis. They're so close and it's just... Shouldn't you have to... Shouldn't you like trade that in? I feel like Davis or Agent are going to get each other. Agent. I knew it. I know. One of them had to get each other. It would be so far if Agent got Duke, uh, Davis too. Wait, who? Oh, Chris. The two wheels is crazy. <laughs> Bro, Duke is like a nigga that just show up to work. One nigga said, I forgot he lives here. Be for real. Wait, where did you get Duke? Oh, wow. Yeah. He got Kai. Oh. want to be in a creator house bro i need to start my own little group thing with money and nobody can say we copying off of amps because groups have been a thing since phase when they go like He's at Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm like, what? Davis and his headphones, bro. He need to be sponsored. You 
can't say that wearing a, a collared sweater and Apple headphones, bro. Oh. Oh my gosh, let me guess, he got slides on too. Alright, so I have a few ideas. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a good vibe. Right, right. I play some Kanye, you support him, right? Yo, come on. Maybe the nigga might want shoes. Alright, play some Kanye, you support him, right? That stare is crazy. Maybe the nigga might want shoes or some shit. I don't know what type of shoe. The nigga got too many shoes. I don't even. Like always just talking about shoes, always wearing, like, you know, got some new shoes. New shoes. And if maybe if, if you get a new D Block member, it, you could get it like for cheap and then use the extra money on shoes. Mm. <laughs> this nigga crazy! This nigga crazy! Nah, 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 nah! Now, one of my biggest uh, fears is my car is gonna get declined in public with people behind me. Why would his car get declined though? Hey, she bad back there. I don't know her age. Let me stop. Well, bro. What are you I'm just too, a little too blurry for me to tell off the rip. Amarius? Damn, that's tough. Hope you get that shit. Yo, I see you on my dick. You on my dick, because you a short nigga too. Okay, when you say fun, what kind of fun you doing? I have no idea how to answer that. <laughs> just, he's injury prone, so ideally something that's not going to send him to the ER again. Um, But he doesn't have a license. Like, he doesn't have, what's it called here in Georgia? Oh, let me see if anybody commented on my stream, because I have, okay. Yeah, okay. no, I, I get no viewers. It's cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. What you think you about to get? Oh, you fix yeah, your collar, dude. I, so, bro, I messed up collars on my biggest pet peeves. Do I get agent double zero? Unbelievable. Oh, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. This man really had a car dealership, though. Hey, That's you crazy. Into a room and completely forget why you're there. Yeah, totally. Where's he at? Versace? 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 Oh, yeah. She bad. She, I'm, she bad. Y'all niggas not getting shit. I'm sorry, I try to be nice. I try to be nice. See? Very much. Mucho? Si, si, mami. Mucho, mucho. Mami is crazy. Dame leche, papi. Se. Se. Yeah, that's what she, he asked if she had a boyfriend, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how fast he's gonna get here, but... Can we? Can we? I'm coming, I'm coming, eh? Thank you so much. Woo! Duke is always so big on, you know, it's it's never heard of that. As, as friends, he's big on, you know, make sure they're all good, you know what I'm saying? And make sure that the staff is well taken care of. Yeah. And if they're not taken care of, he gets rid of them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, I feel like if you're... I feel like if you're gonna do a donation on his end, we should be able to benefit from it also. <laughs> you got you, you got the book bag. <laughs> this nigga chatting. I don't know what he just said. You know, cause somebody chatting, you just go deaf mid combo or like mid what they saying. That's not assistant Bree, is it? Is that is that is that Kai's assistant? That's what do. Oh, he did get caught. That would make sense. It probably is. I take every comment back. I'm still getting used to her face. I'm, I'm grateful for every gift, okay? I'm grateful for every gift. But if they give me a fucking ruler to measure my height or some uh, fucking rats or a new pet or some dumb shit like that, bro, I'm gonna be tight. Of coal? That's ass. Five thousand dollars worth of coal is, is I would literally tell these niggas suck my dick, bro. Five thousand know, dollars worth of coal like, is such a waste of money. You know Duke Dennis? Am I freaking kidding? Do you know anybody named Duke Dennis? Duke Dennis? Who's Duke Dennis? Um, is that you? 
No, no, no. Dang, that kid need to get in with the loot, buddy. Switches. Oh, he me, he me, he me. Uh, Nintendo switches. A Duke Dennis, a Kai Mafia, a Kai Sinat. You know Kai Sinat. Oh, brother. He trying though. I can't get back up out of the job. Oh my gosh, he a speed fan. Hundred percent. Thank you, I really appreciate you. Hey, you be safe. You too, man. Right? Have a good Christmas. Why the fuck they know each other? Bro, man of God. Davis is such a man of God, bro. We did it, Joe. Only, only, only a man of God would do something like that, in a, in a Christmas, like Secret Santa video. Oh, this sponsored by Cash App. Dang, they got two sponsors. They had the stream, the sponsor GCA stream. And this how's the grades? How's the grades? Talk 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 to me. How's the grades? How's the grades? How's the grades? This man Chris chatting for what, bro? Buy the present. Oh wait, did you didn't you already get the present? No, I think you're gonna be here, right? I ain't gonna lie, buddy. He dropped low. But he ain't had no rhythm. <laughs> Oh, look at the little boy. I'm, I'm, of course, no, I'm, of course. I'm, I'm gonna take that right now. I'm just, I'm just putting everything in the bag. I'm putting everything in the bag right now. Chris is so annoying. He, he actually has to buy everything. If he doesn't, that is so messed up. What did Dominican Santa do to y'all though? Where did he come from? Let me shake your hand. Oh, he really bought it. Is that his pedicure? Uh, you and Manny Petty. They thank you, Cash App. Oh, thank so they, they have money to give me, to after you know buying yeah. presents. Thank you. MBA Young Boy. Yup. And that's it. Merry Christmas. How did he young just spell? Boy. MBA. Oh, I'm so stupid. I read it like NBA. A and the Y together, A, B. It is A, young boy. And that's it. Merry Christmas. Putting, Merry that got to be a forgery of a signature. It is a new one, K, to a viewer. Oh, my God, it's so simple. It's locked. It's Wait, what? In chat. Oh, my God, it's so simple. It's locked. It's so fucking simple. Hey, we found, we found it. We found it. We found it. Hey, I just sent it to congratulations on that so you got somebody for something for Christmas, but you didn't get nothing for Christmas. Yeah. Nobody gave you nothing. No socks, no nothing. Nothing. Like you got, nothing. you got, uh, you got cash out. Yeah. What is it? Ooh. What is it? D block what? Eight six four. Hold on, hold on, hold on. D block oh. what? Uh, tell cash out. Thank you. Tell AMP thank you right now. Thank you. AMP. Hold, on, hold on, look though, no, look. Thank you, uh, AMP. Yeah, and who, the cash out. Who yeah. else? Yeah, 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 yeah. And motherfucker do this. Welcome to AMP. And do this. Secret Santa. I'm here with AMP Chris. Yeah. Chris is always so relaxed, bro. But he be the loudest one for what? Next to Kai. 
and Phantom Report. Like, why are you beating up the cameras? Yes, why is why is why is? I used to be part of the Davis Hate Train when I first started uh, watching AMP. I know a lot of people used to be on Dav Davis Case. I feel like I've said this before, but like every group has that one person that just gets bullied by the group and by like the fans. And then they have this whole turnaround to where they get loved. RDC even has one, and this is John. John got bullied by chat so much. He always got picked on by RDC. Obviously, it was all jokes. Chat didn't take it as jokes, but of course, amongst friends, it's jokes. But, like, the thing is, John is, like, low-key my favorite in RDC. I wouldn't say Davis is my favorite in AMP. It's agent at the moment. It was Kai, but now, now it's agent. I, I can't lie. Like, because me and Agent kind of, like, on the same kind of timing. Well, I would say me and Chris on the same kind of timing, if anything. Like, we both chill, lay back, and we love music and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know. I love, I, I really mess with um, Agent's streams, bro. His streams are so fire. So, like, yeah. Yeah, but um, Davis, Davis been growing on me, bro. Well, not even been growing on me, like after i took a step back i was like but why do i do not like this man and i really thought about it and i was like bro davis is cool like what is there to not like about davis like why do people get this man hate for being davis like and i think the reason why groups like rdc and amp actually work is because of the diversity and it's not forced diversity it's and when I say diversity, I mean diversity in personalities. It doesn't have to be race. It doesn't have to be gender, anything like that. It just has to be personality, which is really what matters. Like having a personality, a, a variety of personality in a group is so important. Sidemen is a great example. AMP, RDC, um, some bros now. Like it's it's so important to have that diversity of personality. Like. I know for a fact that whenever I decide to start my little creator group or whatever it's going to be called, it's definitely going to be, um, it's definitely going to be, um, diverse, you know, I'm going to try to pick people, obviously I want to grow relationships with people, I don't just want to add people in that I don't, you know, really know like that you know it, it would be it would be pointless um i think a fire name would be would be called hidden village that would be so far that would be a fire name hidden village hb you know because you know um cloud's best shinobi hidden cloud village you know so hidden village would be fire i don't know it's always up for the date because I don't think it's happening anytime soon. Hopefully, if guys say the same, it'll happen by the end of the year, though. L ads. L ads, bro. L ads. L ads. L ads. Man, shout out to Cash Shop for, you know, allowing us to bless you know, everybody with them gifts, man. You man, know what I'm saying? Joyful. I was blessing so many people. I was like, damn, I ain't never gave away like this, man. Shout out to Cash Shop, bro. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have been able to do this, man. Hey, man, how y'all doing when y'all, you know, Cash money. Shop bless y'all with that? When, when Cash Shop blessed you with it, originally, I wanted to take the money and go to AMP.shop to get me some new fire Right. Bro, getting a fire editor is like key, bro. Like literally, nothing else matters when you have a fire editor. Of course, the camera, a good cameraman, is also fire. Yeah, 
What? RV? We got through this time. <laughs> so are they hinting at another road trip? Okay, we all chill coming soon. Yeah, I can see that. How about you? Like, yeah, because mm, I gotta be different here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I just feel like you're gonna be Oh, he hit his nigga, girl. Oh, no. Alright, stay hard. Stay hard. Like, yeah, I gotta be different. Like, uh, be different, nigga. Be different, nigga. Dance with the stars is fire. No, that's fire. Cypher that was dude. crazy. A M P Broco is crazy. Oh, I thought they was. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that video, bro. I, I thought they was doing like a little <laughs> skit of like. What if, what if 21 Savage didn't fuck with Road Trip? He ain't got no choice, though. Yeah, he ain't really no choice. What if he ran into a This nigga in a vape, bro. <laughs> Vapes are so. Like, why, though? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now it's time for you guys to let us know what your favorite video is. And not only that. This nigga Duke is sounding like an uncle, bro. <laughs> Why Duke just Duke just back there cheesing like a dad, bro. The ski mask is crazy. Why is you beating up the camera? They was trying to get something crazy. Where your mom, man? Where your mom? I was surprised they didn't get it in. Spinning a block with an AMP ski mask is crazy. What? Agent, please take that nigga vape. Please. I'm moving out the bro. out of it. I don't need to keep focus right now. I don't focus on the vape. Wait, what? I have thought about getting a. Ooh. Well, um, we're gonna think I have to contact our lawyers because we legally cannot speak on that actually. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. How was, like, your experience on the RV? I hated it. Really? The sleeping part. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nah, sleeping part wasn't bad. Nigga, I slept in the driver's seat and woke up in the back. <laughs> what? Now, the thing that sucked though is that, like, the toilet was messed up and, like, oh my god, Shane wouldn't let me shit. I understand. Yeah, you yeah. took the shit. I did not take the shit. We're not going to shit. No, Shane would not let me shit. I shit on it at all. No, no, no. The only time I shit is outside. So, who shit it? Outside is crazy. Literally, have to use a leash, right? No, that's that's nice. That can't lie. Like, you would think you would use the toilet paper that's in the RE. I'm pretty sure it was Davis. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let me go ahead and express. Let me explain myself. I know you guys need to explain myself right now. As long as I've known Phantom, I've never seen him back up in a situation like that. Same thing with Duke. So I walk out 
And I, and that's all, though, nigga. I told him, hey, but, you, you I know, but at first, you was an aggressive. And then you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you, y'all would be aggressive in that situation. So seeing you two especially back up, then you got These niggas, either these niggas don't have my back, or this nigga's about to blaze me. <laughs> and, and I was like, so I was like, 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 the fact, the fact that we had that person outnumbered, the fact that we had the person outnumbered like that and nobody seemed to be confident in the situation is what was concerning me. I don't know if you think so. Remember though, I said, hey David, get on the, get on the bus, you got on the bus, so I'm like, you, you're gonna get on, you're gonna help regardless. Nigga, no, I was gonna go get the So you went on the bus, when he told you to get on the bus, so what you say is that he's big bro. Nah, not at all, bro. I'm, he dick right now, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> he dick right now, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, so how y'all feel about the success of the A&P Cypher this year? Mm. I think it was good, man, to really smoke the reason, The reason why I liked it, like, oh, because not only... Did he say like, smoke on people? It was a YouTube video, but it was on, like, a lot of blogs. Um, I, mean, I feel like it, it was a good, like, people put to jam, you know? And it was really good, bro. Yeah. She was in that environment, so you know that we're not rapping. Exactly. A lot of motherfuckers had it in their own. Um Bust down, bro. Avalanche. You getting bumping it on the on the car? Like it's a regular song or something? Yeah, like. Do y'all think we'll be able to top that cipher next year? hundred percent. No. Yes. You think so? Hell no. If y'all not having beef with nobody, no. One of the main reasons, y'all. That's fire. That is actually fire. They do know rappers too, so. They got the motion. This new, the fact this nigga Kai already think about who he finna pick. Look at this. That face he just made, he like, oh yeah, I got, I got a couple people in mind. Killing that shit right now, bro. As a group, like, like yep. collectively, like we're, 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 we're growing and it's just, it's just amazing. Kai, number one streamer in the world. Amen. Amen. Man. I got a question, bro. Whoever made it this far into the video, who do you think is the reason why AMP is going as fast as it, as it is? I know a lot of people will say Kai. And that could be true since he is like the face of Twitch at the moment and like everyone is gravitating towards Kai and his clips are everywhere and just him being everywhere magnetates everyone towards AMP. That's how I found out about AMP. I didn't know who AMP was. I kept hearing the two main people I kept hearing about was Kai and Duke Dennis. And that was when Riz was like O D popular all over the place. And so when I kept hearing about Kai and Duke Dennis, I finally looked up who they were, and I was like, hey, these niggas are actually kind of funny. And then I started binging AMP videos, and that's how I got onto AMP. So I guess you could say, I, I honestly, I guess you could say that Kai and Duke have been, Phantom is going crazy now too, though. Phantom has is, is been pulling his weight too. I'm not, I don't want to say pulling his weight like the other ones are slacking or not, or, or whatever, but it's like, Compared to every single, like compared to Kai, a lot of them have it has a lot to catch up on in a sense. Like, and I don't want to make it seem like I'm comparing like Kai's success to what they all need to reach or whatever. But it's like he, it's like usually the face of something of a group is the person who started it, right? So. Like, if I'm not mistaken, KSI is one of the people who started Sidemen. And he's kind of the face of Sidemen. He's the one that brings in the money. He's the one that brings in the views. RDC, Mark started RDC. He's the one that brings in the money. He's the one that brings in the views. Everyone knows Mark. You know, even when I was still figuring out who RDC was, I didn't know anybody's name. I, didn't, I couldn't even put a name to a face. All I knew was Mark Supreme Dreams. That was the person I knew, right? He's the most recognizable one in all the videos. When you see Mark face, when you scroll through Twitter, you see Mark uh, on the thumbnail, you know what type of video it's going to be. You see somebody else in RDC, nine times out of ten, people won't want to click it because they, they, it won't register unless they real RDC fans and they know who that is. You feel me? Excuse me if I'm, I got a little too loud right there. But 
you know it's that's just how it usually is and with kai being the face of a and p when he is the last person to join and he was the most hated at the time when he joined no one wanted him in the group the fact that he is now the face of a and p says a lot about his success and about who he is as a person so that just brings me back to saying that the rest of them when i say they need to pull their weight they need to start following in kai's footsteps because kai is obviously doing something that's working and when i say following footsteps i don't mean mimic at the nigga like don't do the streams he doing don't do what he doing but like do what he's doing like stream tiktok meet people videos you know all that obviously they all already do all that stuff but they're all kind of just now dipping into streaming right the main people that stream every single day from what i seen was kai and phantom that's why phantom is stepping up now because kai and phantom have been on twitch a lot and twitch is i don't want to say how twitch is where kai got to start but twitch is what is the reason kai is as big as he is now youtube was a big help to help him get to that but as soon as she started focusing on twitch and kind of put youtube on a back burner in a sense he started going crazy on twitch and that's what skyrocketed him up in the air phantom is doing the same thing phantom isn't really doing youtube videos like that he's focused on twitch he's grinding twitch he's live almost every single day just like kai then you got people then you got agent duke duke but lot go live here and there sometimes he go live uh consecutively sometimes he don't he kind of like i don't know really know what what duke got going on you know he i don't really watch duke like that um agent i know for a fact this ended at the end of the year he been grinding twitch like literally grinding twitch he's been streaming every day to the end of this year um and it's the first and he even streamed today so i don't know when that record is going to or when that uh streak is going to end but it definitely didn't end on the first so uh agent has been grinding and i've personally since i like i said i've been watching his streams more often he's been growing he's been breaking sub goals consecutively every stream every stream he breaks a sub goal right so now you got uh agent coming up on twitch so what what basically needs to happen now is duke chris and davis need to start on a chris been on his thing i can't lie chris been going live almost every single day too he been on the more music side of it all so i ain't gonna lie he growing a little slower than than most uh i know one of the main reasons agent has been going is because of gta rp same thing with uh phantom that's like phantom's main thing so you know that's why they growing as as fast as they are because gta gta rp is like it right now like everyone wants to play gta rp it's like sims on steroids bro like even i want to play gta rp and more specifically everyone want everybody want to play d10 like i can't even watch a gta uh, rp server if it's not d10 i ain't gonna lie to you um you even got rappers joining in on uh on uh the gta rp server thing like it's crazy bro and yeah so clearly chris need to get on gta rp he just started i uh been seeing him in the city a bit davis he don't play gta rp like that dude made his character and hasn't hopped on it's probably mainly because his pc wasn't able to handle it when they did the cash shop thing so that's probably why he just was like yeah that's not for me or whatever because he had a bad experience um so yeah duke i know he got his little character or whatever and i feel like duke would be so fire on gta rp bro but like he, he duke just be all over the place he he one of them niggas he he one of them niggas that's like okay i got my life set i could kind of just do what i want to do type stuff like i don't think duke has any necessary like goals necessarily like agent got the whole grind twitch to the end of the year stream every single day i don't know what kind of goals duke got you feel me like duke is kind of like just um doing his own thing he's doing youtube videos he streamed this that and a third you know up in here and there this that and a third like 
like I don't know if YouTube is Duke's thing or or if he wants Twitch to be it or he's just trying to do whatever he feel like doing at the moment. You know, I can't I don't really know his goals like that, and it's probably just mainly because I don't watch him like that. But bro, I've been going on the rant, and I basically said all that just to say that Kai is literally the face of AMP, and you 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 would be lying to yourself if you said Kai is not the reason AMP is where it is now like you 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 come for kai you stay for a and p type b you feel me like you like you 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 walk in the door to see kai then you see all of them together you're like hey they actually fire and then you stay for the group that's literally what happened to me and i know that's what happened to most people so that's why it's like and it's it's beautiful seeing kai put his whole team on the map he doesn't mention a thing a single thing like without including AMP. If he goes on something, if he goes on a show, if he does something, he pushes AMP because he knows AMP is where the bag is at. He has his own bag. But before he even had his own bag, AMP was his bag. So he he pushing a he pushing AMP. He trying to let AMP grow like sidemen, bro. He trying to become the American sidemen. FaZe could have had that, but FaZe just didn't do it right. They they, they they fell off you feel me so now it's up to a and p to become the american side version of sidemen and become like the the staple group of our region you feel me because like you go to the uk sidemen is known people know sidemen sidemen is there they got they own restaurant they got everything like sidemen is there bro like they are them niggas over there so it's like when you come to the u.s a and P is on the rise to becoming. If they play their cards right, they on the rise to becoming like the the U S version of Simon. And there's a lot of the amount of groups that failed, like and broke up. What was it, Team Seven or whatever? Kind of, I said Team Seven. That's Naruto. I don't know Team Ten, whatever that Logan Paul or whatever them had. That those groups did not last, and I feel like A and P has a such a bigger bond compared to all those groups to the point where they actually have the chance to make it and succeed and i remember ksi one time said something like um to kai and he was like i think kai said something about wanting to be on one of the simon shows or them doing a group or simon doing a video with a and p and kai's uh KSI's response to like the interview or, or whatever was like um we'll, we'll we'll see where they at where they are in the year's time and if they stick or if they grow this down the third and I was kind of hurt by it because I was like dang that's kind of messed up like they got to be something just for you to work with them or something like that like they they already got the the clout like growing what more do you want from them but I kind of see where KSI is coming from now. Like, now that I see where AMP are now and how fast they've been growing, I see where Kai, uh, KSI's mindset was when he said that. Like, it's like, it wasn't a disrespect thing. It was more of a, we're not going to, we're not going to, let's, let's say, we're not going to involve ourselves with these people if they don't stay in the sight of the internet right if they just fell off after a couple months there would be no point that video that they would that they made with them would not have any income it would be a waste of money a waste of resources and stuff like that or if something happened to the point where they got canceled or something it would be a bad image on side so it, it, it makes sense why ksi was like let's wait and see where they are it, it was a very strategic business move for him to wait instead of him just going off of what's hype at the moment right and now you got ksi ksi knows kai now you know they want to do videos with amp and it hasn't even been a full year since he said that if i'm if i'm not mistaken so it's kind of like it's really just up to it's really just up to um but wait anyway i'm ranting bro Cause I done seen us be on the YouTube, yep, yep. you know, and then like do something and not have to do shit for the rest of the day. 
Bro, uh, this, I just went on a whole rant about that, bro. A whole rant about how streaming changed literally the trajectory of the whole thing. He's not on Twitch though. He's on YouTube. Phantom already blood. Yeah. He's just tired of it. He just wanted them to agree. That's all he wanted to happen. He just wanted them to agree. Agent is fed up with the fireworks. Kyle never know the lyrics. <laughs> Days loaf, nigga. Bro. <laughs> she do though. Phantom, like, what is, what is this nigga talking about? He's just trying to get his word out. <laughs> Who don't got the password right now? I know, I, I know Phantom got his. He be going to the DR. They lacking on Chris. <laughs> oh, Davis don't got his. It just expired. Yeah, guess what? Don't care, buddy. Why does Chris look through things like that? No, Davis cheated in the dodgeball. I vividly, I was watching the live stream. I vividly watched Davis get hit with a dodgeball and not walk off the, the court. I was so pissed. And if RDC would have lost that, bro, I would have called it rigged. Or I would at least say uh, Davis cheated, you know. But thankfully they won. So, you know, I ain't gonna hold no grudges. 
But um, look at David Spade. He know for a fact he got hit and cheated. And as a man of God, he should admit it. Cricket is crazy. How is that down the middle? Football is down the middle, if anything. Not soccer, but football. Hockey is, hockey is crazy. Wipe out is fire. What? <laughs> mm. Mm. No, no, um, this is crazy. And then pointing the the pointing of the of the like like he expect them to say. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You're weird. Yeah. And then we never spoke about it again. But yeah. This is the set. We've been trying to build it for a long ass time. It's been taking way longer than we anticipated. But we have a podcast that's coming out. It's gonna be the top link in the description. So hey, if you guys I'm are excited. interested, make sure y'all go subscribe to the channel. Alright, it's up to that. Subscribe. Oh, oh, probably go call out and comment some people that y'all would want to see featured on the podcast. This man looks so Jamaican with that 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 beanie on bro. Oh, I completely forgot this was a secret Santa video. I thought these niggas just chatting. Oh, that's the director. Probably ain't got no fan in it. What is that, a blick? Oh. What? This nigga. Oh, Bro, Davis is so out of it. Clueless. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot who got who, I ain't gonna lie. Did Kai give this nigga his chair? Oh, wait, no, he didn't have Aiden. Davis had Aiden. Why, why Kai saying that's why, like, this nigga don't got one downstairs? Oh, but it's not a chair, it's like a laid back. That is so angular, that's why. Yo, this feels like you're on an Arab Emirates flight, but first class. Yeah, 
she put so much oil on there. I'm like, oh my God. Oh, but I, like, I, I, she was rubbing my ass weird with that's the oil. That's what I see. Like, that's like, like, she's oil my ass. That shit was weird. She didn't go inside, no? Nah. She ain't penetrate though, did she? This nigga, I need a massage, bro. Right, come on, next one. I need to go to the chiropractor and get a massage. Voice crack. Yo, what the? Hey, yo. Wait, that's his gift, though. This nigga Phantom is in love with the, the tall one. He didn't stand up for her, but he definitely stood up for the tall one. Look at her. He's going to look at her. Amazed. Amazed. Absolutely amazed. Davis noticed. What is, what is Kai? What's happening here, bro? They are absolutely risen up right here, and you looking like a 12 year old boy who just seen a girl for the first time. I really want to know where he was going with that. Olivia and Kayla. So wait, where, where did Davis get these bras from, my nigga? So who's next? When, 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 when? This has so far. Gallery Depot. Is that what that says? Depot? Is that expensive? Why is this not going? Get the Louis Vuitton. I'm not chip, right? That's LV. Yeah. I never look good, look good in off guards, bro. Is it a watch? I don't know why I said a watch. I was thinking shades. I said watch. No, no, dang, real watches do not come in a box like that. Dang, I'm all dick. Who had Ben again? Did Agent have Oh my God, the white. The white. No. Timothy. What is he? Oh. Never heard of it. Well, I've heard of it, but never cared. Oh. Mom Queasy. He got the wrong pleasing. Bro, who has this man? 
Was it Davis? I don't even remember, bro. All I know is Duke got Kai. No, Davis got Agent. I'm tripping. I think Agent got family. Oh, that fit no, I sang a lot. Oh, uh, if you would have caught that. Is this real? Darn, that's disrespectful. Why did they? Nah, they out of pocket. Bro, Phantom will look weird and sick, bro. I feel like his character and personality is him being fat. That's like who Phantom is. If he loses, it like weight. Obviously, I I want him to be healthy, bro. Like, who wouldn't want that? But it's like he'd be so weird to see. Dang, they not gonna tell who is who. Oh. Okay, Chris, he definitely had Chris. Oh, Chris had him. A bathing eight. A bathing eight. I got me some bathing eight. I got me some baby than eight. So the bump in the Yeah, dude. Yes, I Can this nigga ever take an ugly photo? Just once? Kai, I was say, damn. <laughs> what this nigga doing with these spy kids goggles, bro? Uh, my medical empire. That inside fabric is fire. Yeah, I already saw it, man, but I ain't gonna lie. Yo, she just pretty. Why are you looking like that? <laughs> Why you stand up like that? Did this nigga get a bad flip? Supreme dog. He's supreme dog. That's a fire backpack, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
hope in the bag. Huh? Cap, cause you be capping a lot. Does the bag come with that? Who had him? It was Davis, right? No, Davis had agent. Why do I keep saying that? I feel so stupid. I'm trying to remember who was in that bed. Flipped it and said, I got dude. It was either Chris or Fano. Fun fact. Dang. What is that? Yeah, I said baby the I gotta say every time I hear that name. Light skin faces like he trying to <laughs> raise him up. We <laughs> good, nigga. They bought this nigga. It's crazy. gonna do it <laughs> that is so out of pocket This is crazy. Damn. 
Versace. Versace. What a nigga on it. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. That's nuts. Literally got it. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> <to know why. laughs> you know, it's not open if it's not. This nigga's a clown, bro. <laughs> Is that a bonnet? Oh, that's more shirts. Now we go with the fit. Now, now we go with the fit. Damn, my shit. Where was that line going, though? It's lit. I'm gonna see Joseph for himself I forgot who had Davis was it fan, uh Chris no oh, no at this point Versace 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 but you say I don't want to come in the party they'll say to me too this is a kid that keeps me loop you get the cut up property You gotta wash them. <laughs> what? Yo. What the hell? Blinciega. I'm confused. What is happening? Why does he have these glasses on his head? <laughs> that is nice. Okay, man. Well. It ain't got no sleeves, though. Hell no. Balenciaga is so ugly. <laughs> I don't know if it's too big. I don't know if David just lacks the, 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 the body type to rock clothes. Hey, yo. Is that a ski mask? 
Oh, that's Look like a goon. That is so far. What a pig. Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Chris? Oh, wait, oh, wait. 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 Oh,
People say we trying to get on America's Got Talent, bro. All right, glad ages for this nigga. Oh, light is crazy. Mr. Cannon is crazy. Everybody except for Chris is gay. 
What's happening though? You never know what people are going through, bro. Would have never guessed it. What the Um, we don't give you the things that you deserve, really ever. Uh if it wasn't for you, A and P most definitely wouldn't be a thing after the first week we probably would have disbanded. Uh you've been the glue of the group silently, and then you decided to come on camera and you became a star on camera as well. Uh, without divulging too much private information, we know that you and your family have been going through a lot, and it is the holiday season, so we wanted to give you a check for $10,000. Yeah. 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 Hold it in, buddy. Hold it in. And you want to know it's crazy? I went on a whole rant about how Kai is the reason A and P is where it is, and that's like that just proves to you, like, bro, who is in the face of the camera is not always the reason why something is the way that it is, bro. The behind the scenes people really be working that magic my nigga like they be working that magic and it's the people that be on camera that you think are the reason that some something is the way that it is but in truth be told bro it is so true that a and p would not be where it is without chris chris was the original editor bro yes he slacked sometimes and they gave him slack for that but it's like at the end of the day bro his, his skill and what he put into the videos bro it was dope, bro, and he deserves it, bro. Like, it's definitely true that Chris is the reason. You know, this is. Man, a lot of music hitting right now. Bro. Where your mom at? Where your mom at? 
I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, oh, what was I gonna say? Oh, the feeling of giving is so much more better than receiving. Like, I, as much as I love to give stuff, I hate receiving stuff. Because I feel like when I receive stuff, like, I'm meant to give something back or make use of what somebody gives me and i feel like if i don't use what somebody gives me then it's a waste of their money this that and a third so or if i when i get something it makes me feel bad for others that they don't when they don't have something like even though my living situations aren't the best right now i still sometimes like I I can't fathom people who want to be streamers and want to be content creators and they don't have the stuff to make it work, you know? So, you know, I'm, I know that I'm blessed to be able to even be on stream right now and record this video and stuff like that. And it's like, all of this, everything I have was a gift from my father, bro. Like, my PC, my monitor, my microphone. Uh, the mic stand was a gift from my, my sister. Um mouse pad gift for my sister it's like everything i get is a gift and i try to make the most of it but i always i've always been the type to want to give instead of receive i don't like i don't care if personally i don't get something i wouldn't say I always been like that obviously as a kid you know you want a lot of stuff but like as you get older you know that changes and as i got older um even this christmas i didn't there's not a lot of things i really wanted i didn't care i didn't get a gift this christmas to per se um and well, none of my family really did and it was it was kind of like that it was okay for me not to get a gift growing up if i didn't get a gift from christmas probably would have cried been broken hearted you know this down the third whoop de whoop but it's like the older you get, the more you realize that the material things don't matter. Getting something on Christmas doesn't change getting it any other day in the future. You know, like if I don't got it now, I'll get it later in the future. It's as simple as that. So I don't I don't stress over stuff like that. But I love giving to people, bro. Like I want to be someone in or in a position one day where I can give to others. Like I want to be in a position where I can do things like they what what they just did for Chris, you know. And it don't even got to be for somebody I know realistically or, like, on an everyday basis. It can literally just be for anybody. Like, the feeling of giving to someone is automatically just miles above receiving. Like, receiving doesn't even feel right if you're not giving. Literally, it doesn't. Like, it's it's a broken feeling. It doesn't go hand in like. It, I mean, it doesn't correlate, right, when you get something and you don't give. Like, I, that's why I'm not, that's why I wasn't even tripping if I didn't get anything on Christmas. Because, like, I didn't, I didn't have the money to give anything to my family. So, if I don't get nothing, who am I to complain when I don't got nothing to give them, right? So, it, it doesn't even feel right for me to get blessed and receive things when I'm not giving them nothing, you know? And, of course... The, that's the spirit of giving the spirit of giving is to give without the expectation of receiving back right but for me personally it's just i can't give i mean i can't receive without wanting to give i have to give and if i can't give i, I probably won't say it and i probably won't show it but deep down and in my mind and in my heart in my soul i'm going to feel bad that i can't give you anything right so that's why i always try to be the best person i can be because since i don't got the funds to buy materialistic things i try to be the person to make memories i try to be the person to uh build a bond a connection someone to help someone mentally if i can't help you with materialistic things i will help you mentally if i can't help you physically i'll help you mentally you know it's just like that's why i just try to be the best person i can be because i feel like the me being a gift uh as a person is one of the things i can only do at this time like i can be a shoulder to lean on i can be uh someone to give advice and stuff like that i've always been that way too even since high school i've given advice to people i've talked people talked to people that were sad and going through breaks breakups and stuff people who were depressed and things like that i'm not gonna say i was the reason why they got out of those sadness and their depression states or whatever but 
at the same time it's like being there for people is was just a a, a better way for me to be someone like it it's always who I want to be I always want to be somebody who's there for people um that's why even if I don't understand someone's situation I'm always going to be willing to listen like it can sound like a bunch of nonsense to me and I might not know what to say but some people just need to vent some people aren't looking for a yes man some people aren't looking for somebody to be like oh it's okay you'll get through the storm just keep your head up this that or third and a pat on the back people some people aren't looking for that some people just want to let what they say out and once they get done saying what they need to say they will automatically feel better they just need somebody to listen they don't need nobody to cater to them treat them fragile like a like a like like an egg that's that has that's about a crack like no you know so that's why bro just give it don't matter if you got be able to give materialistically or physically or mentally just give something bro yeah time effort love peace joy like just just give it bro like don't be selfish with yourself bro excluding yourself from people even and i say this a lot i always say i don't like people and it's not that i don't like people it's the fact that i don't like how people are because even with me trying to be such a good person there are people out there that push me to my limits and make me act out of character and um basically corrupt my good image that i try to uphold for myself by forcing me to do some uh, act the way that i don't like to act you know just arguing on the internet uh calling me on my name just down the third it's like it's like um it's just you know it's just a whole cycle bro so it's like it's hard sometimes to to be the giver but sometimes you just got to do it regardless so but hope you guys enjoy i know this is a pretty long video and it is hella long because i paused and i talked for like a whole 30 minutes straight and i even talked at the end so but um if you made it this far hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and uh, make sure to follow my twitch i know you've been seeing it pop up on the screen right here and uh with that being said it's been your boy clouds best shinobi and i'm out peace